What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George, I own a social media marketing agency and I'm also the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery where I teach you guys how to start your own social media marketing agency without prior investment or experience, how to start it, scale it, automate it and live life on your own terms. And I just got this question from Florian. Uh, basically, this is the second time now that he's had an oral agreement or you know an agreement with a potential client to work together, and then for some reason, you know, during the follow-up, um, the deal just basically doesn't happen, and he doesn't actually land the client. And I've been in this situation many times before. I think I mentioned this uh, in the course as well with one of my uh, clients that basically I uh, closed. Everything was agreed. The contract was signed. The only the only thing that wasn't sent was the actual invoice because we agreed to work together one month later. So this was in uh, May and the first of June we were supposed to start. I followed up a couple of times, but when the first of June came, nothing actually happened. And you know, I messaged the clients. They read it, but they didn't reply. And basically, in the end, even though this was a really good deal for both parties, you know, it was a two and a half K client um, with like a sort of revenue share on the back end. And for them, you know, I was going to get them a lot of leads for their company. Um, probably best not to go into the details of the client. Um, but basically, you know, it was a very, very good deal for both parties and it just never, never happened. And what I highly recommend you guys do is when you're in this situation, so you, you've got the clients on the call, um, you know, they are interested and they basically give you the, the go ahead, but they don't actually commit in terms of uh, paying the invoice. Uh, or you haven't actually sent the invoice, then that is the point where you go the extra mile, okay? M give them like an insight into what it feels like to be your client, okay? So give them this perception of a high quality agency and show them, you know, what it can be like, what life can be like. Give them a taste of what it can be like if they are your client, okay? And a quick example of this is, um, I mentioned this in the business plan video, basically I was headhunted and almost recruited for a very, very big firm here in the Netherlands. And uh, basically they offered me the same amount as what I'm in and now with social media marketing, but then as an actual wage. And in the end, I turned down the offer because I want to focus on other things. Um, if you want to know more about that, then definitely watch that business plan video. But anyway, what they did, because I, I said I was interested, but I didn't commit to it. What they started doing from that point onwards was introducing me to potential people, you know, or p people that I could potentially start working with, you know, people in, in their network, on their level. Um, these are all like millionaires, high-end people, you know, really uh, like big, big time people that you'll never normally get in contact with. They, you know, they started introducing me as the managing director. They started, you know, showing me what it, what it could be like, you know, in terms of how it could feel like to have that much power, to have so many people working below you and stuff like that. They, they started giving me a taste of what it could be like if I actually worked for them. They even created an email address for me with the signature being managing director, you know, Joshua Daniel George, etc. And they really did go the extra mile for me to give me that feeling of. Um, of the point where it's almost more difficult to say no than it is to say yes. Okay, and you know this happens in everyday business. You know, for example, if you are looking for a pet, let's say you know you're, you're in the market for a puppy, and you know you go into the pet shop. More often than not, they will say, "Well, I'll tell you what, just take the pet home for the day, see what it is. You know, see what it feels like to have a pet, to have a dog, have a puppy. And if you don't think that this is the right," A decision for you then come back the next day and bring it back nine times out of ten that person keeps the puppy why because they've gotten a taste of what it's like to to have a pet in the house you know to have someone uh, walking around the house and to take you know for walks and stuff like that like the extra company of having a pet and nine times out of ten that person keeps the puppy same goes for cars you know if you are in the market for a car more often than not the salesman will say well let's just take it for a test drive he gives you a taste of what it's like to have that car, okay? And that is what you need to do with the potential social media marketing client as well, okay? So you can start, uh, what I actually do is send them the onboarding process, so I show them, you know, because I know my onboarding process, uh, the, 
it looks like we are a massive, massive agency. So I send the onboarding process of what it's like, what they can expect from us, uh, what kind of quality we can deliver, what you can also do if you haven't got like a really mapped out onboarding process, you can send them uh, ad examples, you can send them um, a competitor analysis, so you can say, um, you know, like this is what competitor A, B and C are doing, this is what kind of ads they are running. If, you know, you already have an idea in mind of what kind of funnel you're going to create for them, then map it out, you know, Google mind map or, you know, download a mind map and app and just map it out completely step by step what you're going to be doing for this client, okay? Go the extra mile for them, show them what it can be like if you guys will work together, you know, stay on top of it, send them looms, you know, show them, give them little ideas of, uh, things that you could potentially be doing for them if you guys were to work together and bring it to the point where like I said it's more difficult for them to back out than it is to go forward with it okay guys so I hope you got something out of this hope this gives you a bit more of an insight into what to do in a situation like that like I said guys all you need to do is go the extra mile and just you know bring the client home you know okay just drag him in because he is so close and like you guys know as well as I do that these businesses will benefit so much from having paid traffic online. They can get more leads, they can get more sales, and they can grow their business by leveraging Facebook ads, Instagram ads, etc. Okay? So, you know, we are basically obligated to show them what is possible. Okay, so like I said, like the video if you got something out of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see for my channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.